let's sing our hello song and get ready to start today. So get your arms up and wave for me. And our song goes like this. Hello, hello, and how are you? Hello, hello, and how are you? Are you good? Are you great? Are you wonderful? Hello, hello, and how are you today? Like a Dandelion by Hui Von Lee, published by Balzer and Bray. Like feathery seeds, we take flight. Finding a new home, even in the tiniest space. We put down roots in unfamiliar soil and nourish ourselves through the winter slumber. Like a dandelion, at first I'm shy. But I raise my face to the sun and the rain. In springtime, clouds blow over the buds and blossom. We make golden garlands in a field of a hundred suns. Bees come for the nectar. Bunnies come for the flowers. In autumn, winds whisk in, scattering new seeds around us. Like a dandelion, I am strong and giving planted happily in the soil that I now call home. The end. Now we're going to look at some things from Asia. See how many you know. This is a city in South Korea. This is a Chinese dragon kite. Do you know what this is? This is a Japanese pagoda. This here is a Thai temple. Now the fun part. Now we're going to look at some food. Have any of you had this before? This is Japanese sushi. How about these? These are dumplings. This here is a bowl of rice with chopsticks. This dish here is from India. It's naan with curry. Here is some boba tea, which is usually cold. Here is a pot of hot tea. Now we're going to look at some animals. Bet you can guess what this one is. This is a panda from China. How about this? This is an elephant from India. And this little creature here, I don't think you've seen this, it before. This is a tire shear from the Philippines. How many of these things did you know? You can learn more about them at your local library. Hair Twins by Raki Merchandani, illustrated by Holly Hattam, published by Little Brown Books for Young Readers. This book is a celebration of a father and a daughter's special hair bond. Every morning before I go to school and Papa goes to work, he combs through my waves. He brushes my hair like he does his own, splitting it down the middle like a river separating two enchanted forests. To smooth the tangles, Papa pulls coconut oil through my hair with his fingers. His hands move gently, like a man who plays the harp in the subway. Sometimes Papa braids my hair. Sorry again. Sometimes Papa braids my hair. 
making two twists down the sides of my face. They remind me of the long snowy white braid my daddy wears to parties. When Papa combs his hair, I stand on a stool next to him. I'm almost as tall as he is. I feel like a grown-up. He calls me his hair assistant. Rubber band, please, he says. I hand him a pink one. Pink is our favorite color. Beard brush, please, he says. I hand him a toothbrush and we both laugh. Sorry. Sometimes Papa puts my hair in a bun, tight at the top of my head, like the Jora he wears every day. This is our hair twin look. Hair cheers, I tell him. When I come home from school, Papa takes my hair down. I do my special hair dance to shake it out all the way. He joins me, moving and grooving, wiggling his hips. Hip cheers, I tell him. Every Friday, to celebrate the weekend, we meet my friends and the grown-ups who love them at the park. Before we leave, Papa ties his patka, covering his bun. Then he ties his turban, wrapping the fabric around his head. Sometimes, he even lets me pick the color. Papa does my hair one last time for the day. This is my racing style. He weaves my hair into one braid like a long unicorn tail hanging down my back. Can you prance like a unicorn, Papa? I ask him, thinking about everyone who will be waiting for us. He smiles and lifts me onto his shoulders. I know he's ready to race. Last week we were rocket ships. Next week we'll be zombies. Today we all run like unicorns, a herd tearing through the park. Braids and buns, spiked and shaved, we all fly together. My braid taps my back as I soar, and then I smell coconut. Papa must have caught up to me. I don't even have to look to see his fluffy beard, his warm smile, and his turban. I know it's him, my hair twin. The end. Let's talk about animals that live in the continent of Asia. Hmm. Let's talk about this first one. Wow, do any of you know what this is? It has stripes, it roars, it can run pretty fast, it lives in trees. That's right, it's a tiger. How about this one? Can you get, guess what this is? has a trunk and tusks. This is an Asian elephant. How about this cute little one? This is a monkey. Usually you can find them swinging in trees. He eats berries and leaves. And last but not least, how about this one? It's black and white. This is a panda. All friends that live in Asia. Which was your favorite Asian animal? You can learn more about them at your local library. It's time to say goodbye for today, so we're going to sing our goodbye song together and we're going to do our goodbye train song, so get your arm ready for your choo-choo, and here we go. 
Oh, the goodbye train is leaving for today. Choo choo. The goodbye train is leaving for today. Choo choo. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving. The goodbye train is leaving for today. Choo choo. See you next time. Thank you.